Corning Incorporated invented the first low-loss optical fiber in 1970, which helped launch the age of optical communications. Corning also invented the outside vapor deposition, or OVD, manufacturing process, which produces the highest quality fiber in the world. In the OVD process, raw material chemicals are directly oxidized into glass soot by flame and then sintered into very high quality glass. This process ensures that purity is maintained in the finished product as the glass contains no foreign material, ultimately enabling the production of very high quality optical fiber. Corning makes all of the glass materials for its fiber to ensure strength and purity for performance and longevity. Corning manufactures its optical fiber in three steps, lay down, consolidation, and draw. The first step of the process, called lay down, is where the starting raw material chemicals are oxidized and deposited to form the glass. A ceramic bait rod is used as a capture mechanism as raw materials such as silicon tetrachloride are oxidized to form synthetic silicon dioxide, the highest purity silica that can be produced. The cylinder of glass begins to grow in diameter and results in a soot-covered rod called a preform with loose particles of silica and other dopants embedded on it to form the refractive index profile that provides the required optical transmission properties of the fiber being made. Quality control systems monitor the process so that each layer is evenly deposited on the target rod. The next step in the process is consolidation, where the soot preform is collapsed and transformed from a porous glass body into a solid transparent glass. In a furnace, the preform is chemically dehydrated to remove moisture. The preform is then sintered and consolidates into a monolithic block of glass that is known as an optical fiber blank. This glass is so pure that its contaminant levels may be measured in parts per billion. So pure, in fact, that if the ocean was made of this glass, you could see down to its deepest depths. The third step in the manufacturing process is what is known as draw. This is where the blank is drawn into the hair-thin optical fiber. The blank is vertically hung in a draw furnace, where the tip of the blank is heated to the melting point of glass. As the tip of the blank begins to melt, a gob of hot glass descends and is stretched down into a thin strand of fiber. Corning technicians use precise computer controls to monitor fiber parameters hundreds of times per second. The automated system allows for real-time adjustments to ensure the fiber is kept within specification. This extremely specialized process, developed by Corning, results in industry-leading geometrical specifications. During the fiber draw process, protective layers of coating are applied to the glass fiber to provide protection during handling, cabling, and installation. After the draw process, every centimeter of fiber is proof tested for strength at a minimum of 100,000 pounds per square inch to ensure required strength. A similar load could pull a freight train engine with a two inch rope. Then optical and physical parameters are measured to verify performance against specifications. Corning fiber reels are assigned a unique serial number so that shipping and quality assurance data remain available to the customers during the product service life. Finally, the fiber reels are packed in robust containers and shipped to customers around the world. Corning continues to demonstrate its fiber manufacturing leadership through ongoing innovation in manufacturing process control, automation, and productivity, allowing Corning to continue to make the highest quality fiber in the world.